Hello friends, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm going to discuss another lead code problem, and this problem is based on string. Okay, so the question is uncommon words from two sentences. Okay, so a sentence is a string of single space separated words where each word consists only of lowercase letters. Okay, so now you have to find that all the uncommon words, right? So how you can tell that word is uncommon? Okay, so a word is uncommon if it appears exactly once in one of the sentences and does not appear in other sentences. Means the occurrence of that particular word is only once, right? Okay, so given two sentences S1 and S2, return a list of all the uncommon words. You may return the answer in any order, means the order is not a big problem for us, but you have to return all the uncommon words. Okay, and uncommon words means that particular word is appears only once. Okay. So now let's see the first example. In the first example, as you can see, this sweet and this sour is appears only once. Okay, and other words like this apple is appears two times. Right. That's why your answer is sweet and sour. Okay. You can also return sour sweet because the order is not a big problem for us. But you have to return all the words, means all the uncommon words. Right. In the second example. Apple, apple is appears two times, but banana is appears only one time, right? That's why your answer is banana. Okay, I think this question is clear too. Let's see how we can solve this problem. Okay, we can solve this problem using hash map. Why so? Because in the key part we can store all the words. Okay, and in the value part we can store the number of the occurrences of that particular word, right? So that's why we can use hash map. But they have another problem. Why? Uh, because we only want the words like this word, this apple word. Okay, we don't want in the space, right? So we can use split method. Okay, means we can create a string type array. Okay, str one. Okay, then s one dot split. Okay, so using this split method we can store only the words okay means this word this this apple is sweet only these words we can store in our array okay this str1 only store the words okay without any spaces okay i think it's clear so then in the in the i will do the same thing for uh, string 2 also okay str Two equals to s two to split. Okay, so now, now I will take the hash map. Okay, string, comma integer. Okay, h m equals to new hash map. Okay. So now I'll just traverse our arrays. Okay. So I'll use for each loop. String is h. Uh, string is str one. Okay. Then hm dot put. This put method is used to add keys values in our hash map. Okay. Then what is your key? Your key is s. Okay. Then hm dot get Okay, or default default key comma your default value. Okay, then plus one. Okay, if this hm dot k dot default method will give you the value of that particular key. Okay, if they don't have any value, then this method will give you this default value. Okay, and our default value is zero. And at the end, we just add plus one with that particular value. Okay, I think it's clear, right? So now for str two also. Okay, copy and then paste. So okay, str str two. Okay. So now uh, 
now we need to traverse our hash map okay but before that we need a count variable why so because you uh, need to return an array okay string type array you have to return but to declare an array you have to mention the size okay but we don't know what will be our size of our array right so that's why i use this count variable okay and now i will just traverse our hash map okay entry then e comma eight sim to entry set okay if e dot get value is equals to equals to one means what this means is occurrences is ones right because in the value part we store the number of the occurrences right then we just increment this count variable okay at the end we just um, at the end we just declared our string type array that array we need to return okay new string uh, count okay and then the add that value okay. int k equals to 0 and then k equals to e dot get key okay and then k plus plus at the end we just return our array okay so now okay, so now let's run this code yeah so basically what's going on in this code let's see okay let's take the first example in this first example these two sentences given to you right so i just uh, convert these sentences into a string type array okay so basically what we have in our first thing this apple is sweet okay this is uh this is our in zero index position this is our in one index position this is in our two index and three index position okay so now the same thing is uh happening for our next string also this apple is sour okay so now next i just declare a hash map in the hash map i just store all the words and in the value bar we just store the number of the occurrences of the particular word okay so now okay so now what we have in our hash map like for this we have one time right for is we have one time okay apple we have only one time right and sweet we have only one time right but after this for loop we, what we have in our hash map now our this is appears two times right means this this and this this okay now total appears this word is two times okay then is is two times also okay apple is two times but sweet is still one time okay and another key is our sour okay this appears also one time okay so now i just take this value part means this value part this two this two this two this one this one we just check that value part okay so e dot get value will give you the values okay not the key so basically we just check equals to equals to one okay but for this sweet equals to one and this hour is equals to one right so why for that cases this count will increment by one okay so now our count value is what two okay so now okay. basically after that we just take an array why so because we need to return an array okay string type array we need to return but to declare an array we have to uh, mention the size right that's why i take this count variable okay 
I think it's clear at the end I just again traverse our hash map okay and I just take this condition okay and at the end I just add all the values in our arim okay and I just return at the end our arim I think it's clear okay if you have any question you can definitely ask me in the comment section okay so now let's submit this code yeah that's all for this video i hope this video is helpful for you and uh, you can give me any type of suggestions that i can improve yeah so thanks for watching see you in the next video